Snuff bottles were introduced to China in the 18th century during the Kangxi reign by Portuguese missionaries. It was believed in the 18th century that it would cure ailments, headaches, stomach problems. So you had a huge fashion for people to buy these snuff bottles and to actually take the snuff. And what's so interesting is that from a utilitarian product, it became this amazing type of work of art. In our sale this year, um, in the spring sale, we have over 65 bottles of snuff bottles from various private collections. And some of the highlights include a very finely archaistic design agate snuff bottle which is carved around the exterior with archaistic dragon designs, which you would usually find on bronze forms from the 12th century BC. It's an unusual form. It's, it's very typical of the crisp carving that they achieved in the Qing period. So this is a snuff bottle from the mid-Qing period. And here we see that it's actually been overlaid in both green and pink glass. And the carver has very skillfully deeply carved through both layers in order to show the decoration. And what's interesting about this lot is that the carver has actually bothered to painstakingly decorate the base, which is quite unusual. It's extremely rare to find bottle caps. In terms of collectors, they tend to not be too bothered if it's a replacement. What is really the, what they buy and what they collect is the actual bottle itself. Snuff bottle carvers would literally take inspiration from all things, including vegetables, archaic bronzes, ceramic forms. And in this particular case, we have a bottle in the shape of an eggplant. And these were actually noted in the Palace Museum collections of having been commissioned by the emperors in sets of 10 or 12. So we actually have extant examples of this very type in the palace today. This current bottle is at a very attractive estimate, between 20 to 40,000 Hong Kong dollars. from the Republic period, we still see snuff bottle, the art of snuff bottle still al alive and well and still clearly being used to depict very current events, such as you see here on this bottle with Mao Zedong. This bottle was painted by a famous uh, snuff bottle painter by the name of Wang Xisan, as you can see here by his seal mark in red. This estimate is between 30 to 40,000 Hong Kong. And I think for any mainland Chinese person, it would be a good piece to collect in terms of something that's culturally relevant.